Every year, invasive animals cost Australia over $720 million. The most costly to agriculture is the rabbit. 24 rabbits were first released near Geelong in 1859, turning into billions Australia-wide. These rabbits became creatures of destruction, resulting in plagues like the one in Queensland in the 1880s. Before myxomatosis was introduced in the 1950s, rabbit populations were often managed by professional rabbiters. Despite reduced effectiveness, myxomatosis still knocks down more than half of the rabbit population each year. Rabbit hemorrhagic disease, RHD, was introduced in the 1990s. But rabbits' growing resistance to the disease has again left us looking for ways to increase RHD effectiveness. The public awareness projects of the Invasive Animals CRC have strengthened community partnerships and raised the profile of rabbit impacts and control methods in Australia. Feral.org.au is an interactive, free online resource providing a central reference point for pest animal research. It also has two education tools designed to provide teachers and students with resources for pest animal management. The Rabbit Scan Citizen Science Challenge in 2009 led to ABC Radio's Rabbiting On series and national storytelling competition. From hundreds of stories, senior and junior winners were announced and the competition stories published in a book. The Invasive Animals CRC has partnered with landholders, industry, government, business, media and the community to help solve Australia's rabbit problem. The updated Rabbit Scan website was launched in early 2011, attracting celebrity and community support. Rabbit Scan has become an online mapping tool for landholders and the community to strategically manage rabbits, find resources and share information. Over 4,000 people have entered sightings of rabbits into Rabbit Scan, raising awareness and encouraging a national approach to rabbit control. The Invasive Animal CRC is also leading the charge in RHD research. The RHD Boost project brings communities and researchers together to improve the effectiveness of RHD by identifying new strains of the virus from around the world to potentially release in Australia. The release of a new RHD strain means improved rabbit control worth $1.4 billion to the Australian economy over 15 years. The rabbit's path of destruction has passed nature's pain threshold, which has scientists concerned for the future of Australia's biodiversity. Without finding ways through projects like RHD Boost to improve the effectiveness of current control methods, can we afford to not protect ourselves against the rabbits?